Hi, and welcome to the Daily Blessings channel. We will be posting inspirational prayers, messages, and Christian meditation sleep videos. Bible verses will be from the King James Version of the Bible. If you would like to see a video on a particular topic, please request it in the comments section. We enjoy comments and discussions, but please be kind and courteous to everyone. Remember to subscribe, like, and ring that bell so you won't miss a thing. Okay, brothers and sisters, let's get to it. Psalm 27 verses 1 through 7 reads, The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me, he shall set me up upon a rock. And now shall mine head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me, and answer me. When you read these seven scriptures, it reveals a multitude of blessings for every believer. In verse 1, it shows us that when we accept the Lord as our Savior and acknowledge Him as our Lord, there is no longer anything to fear. There is not one thing to be afraid of. Satan uses fear to control us. When you understand this, these verses show you that Satan no longer has the tool of fear to hold over us. Because when our Savior sacrificed Himself upon that cross, He destroyed the devil's number one tool, and that tool is fear. He destroyed the devil's ability to control us with fear. In verses 2 and 3 we read that even though we may have enemies, enemies that plot against us and try to cause us to stumble and fail, if we stand in faith on God's promises we will not fail. The Bible tells me that the enemy will be the one to stumble and fail. Our enemies talk behind our backs and plot to destroy us. They try to hinder us in our businesses, in our jobs, and even in our personal lives. They may surround us, but they have no power. They will be the ones who stumble and fail. In verse 5 the word tells us that when troubles come if we depend on the Lord that He will hide us and shelter us in His pavilion. What an awesome promise! He will give us shelter and will be our refuge. He gives us a promise of protection when He states that He will set us on a rock. That means no evil can touch us. Nothing that comes against us to harm us will be able to shake our foundation because it's on rock. Not a sandy foundation, but a rock-solid foundation. Oh, how glorious that promise is. I mean, really think about that, people. Do you know anyone today that if you were running from someone, if they were running behind you with a gun or a knife, and they were trying their best to kill you, do you know of anyone who would open their door and usher you in? Anyone who would stand in front of you to protect you from that person? Do you? Most of us, if we were lucky, would have someone call the police and say they saw something outside their window and please come help this person. And that's if we're lucky. Most people will close their eyes and walk away because they don't want to get involved. But here our Lord tells us, I will shelter you. I will be your refuge. I will be your protector. I will stop anyone that tries to harm you. The harm the devil and his minions are trying to bestow upon us is worse than anything any mortal man could do with a gun or a knife. So yes, this is a very glorious promise. Keep your faith in the Lord and there is no reason to fear. The word assures of this. Let us pray and thank God for His promises in these verses. Father, You are my light and my salvation. You are everything that I could ever want or need. Today, we come before You to commit our needs into Your hands. We trust that as long as our plans are in accordance to Your will, You will help establish them. I'm standing in faith. I'm believing and trusting in Your promises, that as children of God, You will provide for our every need. You will protect and shelter us against any and all attacks from enemies and foes. Father, I am kneeling at the throne today, asking that you remove all stresses, all fears, and all doubts that the enemy sends my way. Father God, I ask that you bless my plans and endeavors, but I also know you see the full picture. You see things that I cannot imagine, so I ask you to bless it to its complete fruition in a way that you would have it come to pass. 
I'm believing and trusting in your promises that as children of God, you will provide for our every need. You will protect and shelter us against any and all attacks from enemies and foes. You knew me before I was placed in the womb. You washed me with the cleansing blood of Jesus and removed all of my sins. And I know that as long as I stand within your will, you will prevent any enemy that comes against me to prosper. I know that I will be successful in my endeavors because wherever I go and whatever I do, I will do it in the name of God. Father, send opportunities my way so that I might be able to do your work here on earth as you would have me to do. Let blessings and opportunities manifest in my life so that your plans for me will come to fruition. Father, I pray that you rain blessings down on every area of my life. May the Holy Spirit empower me so I may do the Lord's work and stay within his will. Holy Spirit, protect my mind so that when evil comes against me, it shall not be allowed to confuse me in any way. Lord, wherever I go and whatever I do, I will praise your name from the rooftops. I will exalt you to everyone I witness to, because without you I am nothing. Just as David did, I will praise you, Lord, and sing your praises all the days of my life. Today, I am claiming the blessing of being successful. I shall not stumble, and I shall not fail, because you are my rock and my fortress and my salvation. I claim the favor of the Lord today. I claim his blessings to flow in my life and that of my family. I pray that you rain down blessings from heaven on every child of God who is listening to my voice today. As always, Father, I ask that your will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. If you enjoyed today's video, please share it with your family and friends. Visit us daily for new content and thanks for watching. Have a blessed day.